Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping down into the technical analysis for XRP, taking a look at what's been going on on the hourly chart, the daily chart and the weekly chart, giving you my thoughts and opinions on what I think is likely to happen next with XRP. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, smash that like button. I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications and in doing so you will be able to be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you haven't yet joined us in Discord, guys, check it out linked in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24-7. It's completely free and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. So why not go ahead and check it out. Let's make a start with this one, keep it nice and brief and to the point so you know what I think is likely to happen here with XRP. So let's take a look at this hourly chart. We'll jump over into the daily and then we'll take a look at the weekly at the end there. So uh, let's go into the start in here on the hourly. Okay, we can see that we've kind of just been ranging down here um, as we kind of have pulled back a little ways. Okay, now we can see that we are testing the lower end of our trend. Um, uh, that's okay we're going to see what's going on so let's go ahead and just make this a little bit clearer uh, just about here now uh, see off the bat here we can see that there is this idea that we have a move up a move down and then a move up okay that looks pretty complete to me let's go ahead and just do our sense checks we want to make sure that everything is kind of lining up quite nicely see some pretty interesting wicks um actually this one's down here is a little bit lower i'm going to take that one right there and we'll move our b wave over to here Okay, down and up. Uh, so that's actually quite interesting. Um, so here we can see that we hit higher than the 1.382. That is normally above and beyond what you'd expect for C wave structure. Okay, we have moved down. Uh, so our next expectation here uh, is either going to be that that is an unusual C wave. It's possible. There's nothing really stopping that. Or alternatively, we have a WXYXZ. Now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, we probably don't have the requirements for a WXYXZ. So I think actually, yeah, it's probably just an unusual C wave wave we'll leave it there for now and see how things kind of progress onwards we can see that there is a move to the downside next after that we can see that right in here and we go ahead and measure this distance we take that low we take that high we move this over to our bounce which was here and we come down here now we can see that this one just crosses and fails to kind of go down deeper than the 786 which means it's not really met its requirements just yet this is also our swing high okay so i'm going to go ahead and put our yellow box area down on our expectations which is 1 to 1.236 okay that's this yellow box range just here and this is basically 40.78 to about 41.25 okay i'm going to remove the fib so we can keep our chart looking reasonably clean so ultimately that is an interesting structure because we had this move down here bounced but we haven't come down to that range just yet and we haven't pierced up higher than the range higher as well so let me go ahead and just clear out some of these old horizontal lines and add a new one uh, so our swing high is right here at 43.27 and we are yet to pierce higher than that okay meaning that we still have this potential move to the downside so we've rallied up uh, we have this one here we have uh, this area just here as well double top uh, this is being 43.18 uh, we had that high at 43.17 as well. Uh, so all in all, that there is telling me that we are likely to see a further move to the downside. Okay, so let me follow, follow that up with this A, B, potential C. And that C wave could potentially overextend and come down a little bit deeper. But with that being said, I think we're just ranging for a little while here, guys. Uh, if I move this up and pull this over to here, we can also see that our next uh, expectations are going to be a little bit higher than... Uh, than the bigger macro one there, uh, which is basically down here. So let me go ahead and just try to line that up a little bit better. Um, it basically comes in between 41.78 and 42.01. Okay, and there's a little three wave right inside there. So one, two, and then three, like so. And uh, it's possible that that completed a little short there. Um, and it's still possible that we rally on up, up upwards as well. The problem with these ranging markets is that we haven't really got confirmation of at uh, the bigger level directional move yet ultimately at the moment we are ranging really between two levels uh 41.57 and 43.27 until one of those is kind of broken trading xrp at this level is kind of high risk and not something that i would be wanting to do personally i'd be waiting for confirmation as to whether or not we're going to see a significant surge up or down so our hourly chart here is very very messy just kind of ranging in here we can also kind of argue although i think it'll be quite weak um is that we have ourselves a bit of a trend upwards here uh, whilst we're also trending down up here 
and we're finding ourselves in a triangular wedge. I don't think that's realistically something that we can kind of look at, um, but something to kind of keep an eye on uh, as it might actually be something uh, that plays out over a period of time. And it could also be that this is a B wave structure that is a triangle, allowing us to have that breakdown into our C later. Okay, and as in, uh, we'd have an A, B, C, D, E breakdown. Um, and so we want to be a little bit aware of that as well. Uh, but for the most part, we'll keep a close eye on it and see how that one plays out. Moving on, we'll take a look at our daily. Our daily does give us a bullish idea here that we are likely to see a break to the upside soon. Um, we can see that we're right inside the zone um, here for um, buying. Okay, We can see that in the background. So this green area just in the background here, this is an internal buy order block in the same way that we have these down here. As I said a couple uh, days ago, I wouldn't be too surprised if we actually move down first and take out the kind of 39 cent range and uh, this fair value gap that's just down here. Okay, This essentially allows us to test this low trend line before breaking out of it uh, and moving upwards. Um, so I am still looking at that and thinking to myself, we are likely to kind of hit it at some point. Like I said previously as well, uh, looking at our structures here, it's possible that we're in some kind of um, w, X, Y, X, Z, still yet to be seen, but possibly something going on in there. But like I say, most of the time, though, higher highs and higher lows uh, have a tendency to break down and lower lows and lower highs have a tendency to break upwards, as we can see in numerous times in the past. This is actually looking pretty good, and I am expecting a move upwards where we'll probably be targeting out that um, fair value gap that's a little bit higher, more towards that 49 and 51 cent range. Um, but before that happens, I'm still expecting a little bit further to the downside first, okay? But you know, it's on the cards here, it's on the horizon. We can see a little bit of bullishness here as we think about that move to the upside on the daily time frame. Smart Money Concepts also shows us with our bullish structure, change of character from bearish to bullish. This happened in September of 2022. Uh, we see a break of structures confirming that bullish sentiment in January. And we see another one over here that was confirmed in March. Okay, so this move to the downside isn't terribly too unusual. You tend to find that you do have these retracements after you break that structure. You can see over here, we saw this move down here before we broke up again. And we'll break up higher again. And I think we are going to get another break of structure to confirm that bullish market structure overall. So ultimately, XRP on the daily looks OK, um, but do expect a little bit of volatility. We're still expecting a little bit further to the downside uh, before we actually start to get that run back up again. And I think it will be pretty decent and we'll be targeting out higher than the current week high, which is set at 58.50 weekly time frame so from our weekly time frame we can see that we got rejected from a previous demand range which is over this side here and it became a supply range okay so this range uh, for your information is 50.74 to 59.93 this particular area is an area that there used to be a lot of buying pressure okay this goes back to january uh, sorry june 2021 uh, all the way through to january 2022 we lost it and it came uh, when price revisits this area or came back up to this area, we found that it was an area where people were selling rather than buying. And this is an obvious one because you buy here, you get trapped in your positions, you hold and price comes back to where you can get out cost neutral. You tend to have a, a, see a tendency to see selling occurring. So price comes back down once in this area. We got rejected now a couple of times. And my big concern here on our bigger weekly time frame is that we have ourselves that, uh, that unfortunate thing where we see higher highs occurring at this level and we have ourselves higher lows occurring at this level. It's not a big one, it's not a huge movement, but we can see that this does uh, lead us into bearish times at some point in the future. My expectations are we test the high ranges around 60 cent again, and possibly if we do not get a, a closed position above this range and uh, to confirm bullishness, we're probably gonna have to come back down and test those low ranges again. Now, obviously with all technical analysis on XRP, we have to be very mindful over the Ripple versus SEC or SEC versus Ripple more specifically specifically um, because that fundamental um, or the fundamentals around that lawsuit could change the technical analysis for XRP. So this is only valid and only valid um, until we get some kind of closure on that case and XRP gets clarity as to what it is. Uh, is it a security? Is it a commodity? Is it an exchange token? Is it a store of value? What is it? Um, once that gets clarity, we're going to see significant surge in price action uh, to the upside, in my opinion. Whether that is uh, you get classed as a security or not, it doesn't generally matter. I think once you get clarity, it can get listed in the states on the exchanges and we're going to see a rapid movement to the upside in my opinion. So I'm expecting a pretty decent run to the upside when that occurs. But until then, 
we should be seeing and expecting volatility within the price action of XRP as described in this technical analysis. I'm going to leave the video right there though guys if you have found it useful and informative smash the like button I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all the notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With all that said done and out of the way guys I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one. We are not financial advisors and none of what we have communicated earlier or in writing here should be considered as financial advice. It is not. Do your own research before investing in any digital asset or affiliate offers and understand that investing in any crypto is risky. If you do, you need to be prepared to risk your entire investment. This video is an information against the investors only. All our videos are strictly personal opinions. Please make sure you do your own research and never take our opinions for financial advice. There are multiple strategies and not all strategies fit for people. Our videos are not financial advice.